Hey guys, here we are. All the mold and mildew is a uh, thing of the past. And um, I've decided I'm going to do a new non skid deck on the uh, foredeck and uh, pretty much all the way around the top sides. It's worn through pretty good in some spots, and uh, frankly, it's just uh, it doesn't look all that hot. So I'm going to redo that with Interlux in the spring. Uh, spent a lot of hours compounding and uh, buffing out the hull, and, and uh, as I kind of it had expected it came out real good there was a lot of uh, a lot of oxidization or oxidation whichever uh, that uh, two three times over it with compound it came out and I think you can see that the shine is pretty good on the hull um, bootstripe looks to be original although it's missing the small seventh eight seven eighth strip that's supposed to go over the black I think it was originally gold uh, but that's going to get the uh, Chris Craft red treatment over the black. I think it'll stand out, look pretty good. Um, the black up on the top, the feature stripe is painted, and uh, it's too far gone for me to save, so I'm going to paint over that. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do that back in black or if I'm going to go with uh, like a flag blue. Uh, but that's going to get redone at the same time I do the uh, top deck. And most of my time has been spent stripping out the stuff that I can bring home and do in the shop when the weather is cold, which is going to be any week now. Um, and there's some of the <laughs> some of the pieces that need to be replaced. That's all the interior combing that was on the inside uh, in the uh, cockpit, <clears throat> and uh, a lot of scrubbing, a lot of cleaning. I haven't gotten to the transom yet. And there's some of the materials I use a lot of 3M on the hull. Um, I'm sure there's other products that work well, but the 3M for me has worked. So I'm going to stick with what I know. Here's the other side. And uh, we'll climb up. Excuse the shakiness. And uh, here's the inside of the cockpit. You can see I took off all those sideboards. And uh, now I have pretty good access to the backside of all the screws and everything that I need to replace. Um, She's going to get new gauges in the spring as well. I haven't decided what, but it's going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more sporty than what's there. I'm probably going to go with chrome of some sort. Um, I'm not sure which, but uh, maybe Stuart Warner some vintage gauges, or I might go with some new Faria. Or we'll do some shopping. We'll see what we can find. The hatch is in good shape, but somebody painted the inside of it black to black it out. So I'm going to try to strip that off of there and see if I can clean it up. There's the other side. Going to make all new boards there. Uh, she's going to get all new non-skid in the cockpit too, so I didn't spend a ton of time trying to get all those rust stains off. I gave it a good effort, but uh, I want it to look bright and shiny, so uh, it's going to get all new. Um, down in the cockpit, or in the cabin rather, see if I can get you some of that. She actually cleaned up really, really well. I'm very, very pleased with what I've got. Um, new cushions are in order, and uh, my first mate gets to pick out the materials for that. I'm going to let her decide how to do the interior. Um, I'm sure she's going to want to replace the orange padding, but I kind of like it. It's kind of retro. I'm going to clean up the uh, mouse fur inside, or monkey fur, and uh, replace that. Uh, if I can't clean it, I'm hoping it cleans up. It's got some some mold stains on it I'm pretty sure if I bring in a commercial cleaner, I'll be able to clean that all up But the galley looks pretty good. The refrigerator is nice and clean underneath was all cleaned out You know the boat's been sitting for seven years, but it looks like the guy uh, Before he parked it really did a good job of cleaning it out. So I didn't have too too much to contend with There's the two small um, I think Jerry referred to them as Torpedo tubes, but uh, but uh, new cushions are in order there. All the vinyl came out good on the walls. I don't know if it was linoleum or what it was, but uh, that all cleaned up good. Head cleaned up nice. It's got a porta potty. I'm thinking about putting an actual uh, flush toilet in here and a holding tank. I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm in contact with somebody else that's got the same boat that has that system in there so I'm gonna see what's involved and where there's room to put a tank but in any event it cleaned up good so I'm pretty pleased yeah Paul there's my uh, 10th anniversary champagne Perdomo I'm uh, I'm also a fan 
And uh, that's what we've got. I'm considering replacing the port lights, but I can't find anybody that's got the correct size, so I may be stuck with what's there. They're not cracked, there's no leaks, but pretty sloppy job on the caulking, so I'm going to have to take them out anyway, and I thought maybe some nice stainless steel would look good on this boat. But uh, in any event, that's where we are today. Um, still a lot of work to do in the off season, but uh, with a little luck, if she doesn't need a ton of mechanical work, which it doesn't seem like it needs, I should have this thing back in the water in May. Um, and on the Connecticut River, it may be warm enough in April to use the boat, but there's just too much debris floating to uh, to safely boat too much. So um, May is the deadline, and uh, we're well underway. See you soon.